Every fall and Christmas, we have a lot of fun putting together our paper white forcing kits. And in this project, we're going to be using little Johnny Jump Ups or violas, kind of like a pansy, but smaller. Old-fashioned pots that are actually orchid pots we collected from an estate sale. You can use any pot you want to. Soil, usually potting soil, and flower bulbs. And in this case, those flower bulbs are paper whites, which are used to force, meaning they're going to bloom about four to six weeks after we plant them. So here we go. All right, we're going to put together really simple paper white uh, bowls with uh, violas or pansies, whichever you choose, uh, paper whites, which are a type of narcissus that bloom about four to five weeks after we plant them, and decorative little pots. The best thing about this is I do it every fall, starting in October all the way through December. I start making pots here and there. They bloom four to six weeks after you pot them. So I start getting paper white blooms around Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. I make a lot of extras because I continually am giving these away as gifts. So let's just put them together. It takes literally hardly any time at all. And let's talk about what we got here. We got our paper white flower bulbs. We've got old pots. I picked these up at an estate sale in our neighborhood, but you can use whatever pot you want. You can go wild with colors. You can go muted. You can go modern. You can do stone over the top of it. Um, here's our potting soil, just regular old potting soil. You can buy it anywhere at Home Depot, Lowe's, any of your local garden centers. And then we're using violas. Now, I like these smaller giant jump ups. I think you get more color impact. Um, and my wife and I are always having debates. She likes the ones with faces. Sometimes I like the ones that are solid purple, but we're gonna go with uh, my wife's selection since she always seems to have a better uh, design than I do. So let's just quickly put this together. Here's your soil, here's your pot. Making a mess. Sorry, Audra. You can use a, a trowel if you don't need to. Now I'm only filling it about halfway up because what I'm gonna do is, maybe it's more like three quarters up. I'm gonna take my violas now and I water these ahead of time. It's always important to water a four inch pot before you plant it because it's really hard to get that soil moist again after it's been uh, planted if you don't pot it with a little bit of moisture. All right, so you see how now the top of the four inch pot may be about an inch below the lip of this, this pot right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put in three. With smaller pots, you probably don't even need three. You could probably just do it with like two or one. Instant color. Now I'm gonna take my paper whites and I'm just gonna put them in where I've got some space. So look, I just put it between those three right there in the middle. And I'm gonna put some on the outside. I'm probably gonna fill in the, those little holes with a little more soil. You can wet your soil ahead of time if you want to. It's not 100% necessary. So there's two, I don't know if you can see that. There's three. There's four. And notice I've almost got the tops of these bulbs above the soil. And there's one, two, three in the middle, four. I'm going to put another one. I'm going to move this one a little farther over and put one here to sort of balance it out so when they're blooming. And that's... Five. Now I'm going to come in with some of this loose soil, just fill in the gaps. I'm making a big mess, but that's okay. Part of that is the fun of this deal. You can even see where that bulb's mostly exposed right there. I'm just going to put a little bit over the top so that the roots have a little where to grow. And voila! Instant color. I'm gonna probably hose this down. The reason these are a little floppy is because I just watered them. Uh, they're gonna perk right back up. I'm either gonna put this in full sun outside. Uh, if it's gonna be freezing, I'll take it in. Or I'm gonna look for a full sun spot in the house and I'm gonna put it right by that sunny window and that's gonna cause it to bloom a little quicker. I will say if it's in a sunny spot, rotate your pot occasionally because the, the uh, paper whites will start reaching for it. And you wanna give it as much sun as possible to keep the paper whites compact. If there's not a lot of sun, they're gonna get a little bit longer and flop over. Uh, I do like to bring these all the way indoors, like as centerpieces for maybe a Christmas dinner or a party, but 
I don't leave them on the center spot. I put them back in the sun because I want them to stay compact. If you put them in the middle of the house where there's no sun, they're going to get a little leggy. So anyways, that's a quick way to do that. If you want to stay on for a little bit longer, you can. I'll do a smaller pot real quick. In this pot, I'm just going to take the soil. Now, I'm using old orchid pots, which have these slits in there. Paper whites, it doesn't really matter. I could use a shallow, like, almost bowl like this with very little soil. All the all the power to bloom is already in the flower bulb, so the soil is not 100% necessary, but it does help. Here's a smaller pot. We're going to take a slightly different colored viola here. This one happens to be sorbet yesterday, today, and tomorrow viola. I'm just going to put one in the middle for this one, and I'm probably just going to put three paper whites around the sides. So there's just one right in the middle. I'm going to fill in the sides a little bit make it a little bit deeper and fill in the sides a little bit with some more soil. And I'm going to put three bulbs in it. One, two, and three. There we go. There we go. Use the rest of it. Fill them all around it. That soil is going to compact a, a little bit as it starts to grow. I'm just kind of pushing it in there so it doesn't go everywhere. And now I've got a pretty pot when it's not blooming. Paper white's going to come up and bloom amongst it. By the time they're blooming, the pansies will have grown out and sort of come around the sides a little bit. And uh, then we'll have a nice kind of base and paper white's coming up through the middle. And it's really simple. Uh, they're great little gifts. They're quick. They're easy. And it's a fun opportunity in the winter to get your hands dirty and get some blooms. I'm Chris, the Bulb Hunter, and it's your turn to plant a story.